Hello everything! In this video, I want to try to explain why I decided to give Demoman the abilities he has in my fan game Hotline Fortress. Because it seemed there was a lot of confusion and even prejudice towards them. Also, this video contains spoilers for Jojo Part 4, so if you didn't read or watch that one yet, maybe skip this one. So, I gave Demo two playstyles, the melee based Demo Knight subclass and the standard version simply called Demo Man, who starts with a pipe bomb launcher. Demo Man has two abilities, which I'm going to describe using terms from Jojo because that's what inspired them. The first ability is Killer Queen, the second ability is Bites the Dust. These two abilities stem from a pretty big problem I had initially. How do I balance Demo Man? Because, as people pointed out, he was really underwhelming compared to the other classes initially, as he only had a single explosive weapon that was very loud. Because, you know, explosions. This was an issue because even though Hotline Miami is an action game, stealth plays a pretty big role. Guns are allowed and attract enemies, so you're encouraged to use melee or thrown weapons. But when a character is only loud, that's gonna be a bit difficult for the player. So, I had an idea. Why not just fully commit and make Demo Man all about being loud? Making him a class that can attract enemies while also destroying everything around him easily was in my opinion the smartest and most fun solution. And I did so with Killer Queen, which allows Demo to turn anything he touches into bombs. Doors, dropped weapons, even executed enemies. This has both multiple upsides and multiple downsides. The first downside is that he attracts a lot of enemies with the explosions. But the upside to that is that he can easily lure enemies into the bombs he created. Another downside is that because explosions destroy drop weapons and even his thrown weapons, Demo is going to run out of them pretty quickly. But the upside to that is that, well, anything can be a weapon. But that leads to another problem. Because anything can be deadly, it can also be deadly to you. Getting too close to enemies isn't the best option sometimes, especially when doors are involved. But again, anything is a bomb, making it a glass cannon ability that is both super useful and super dangerous. What it does is completely turning the mechanics of Hotline Miami on its head, which is what I wanted to try with every single class. Demo is basically the exact opposite of stealth and sneaky combat, a role which is then filled by Spy. So every class offers something new. And turning everything on its head is also what inspired his second ability, Bites the Dust. If you don't know, Bites the Dust is a stand power from Jojo which, okay honestly this sounds really stupid when describing it, but it basically traps a single person in a time loop and anyone that asks that person the wrong question will explode, after which the time loop is repeated. I decided to completely ignore that bit for obvious reasons. But what I focused on was the second effect of Bites the Dust. Not only do the people explode, but even after the time loop resets, they will explode again at the exact same moment in time when they exploded before. And if you've played the new release of Hotline Fortress, which you should by the way, this sounds familiar because that's what the pipe bomb launcher does. It marks enemies for death and after restarting the level, a timer ticks down which then kills them once it reaches zero. This is what most people had issues with. And the arguments I've seen were that it's too powerful, that it rewards players for dying, and that it breaks the flow of levels since you can't beat levels the same way every time, as dying would result in a different outcome. And to those I say... And? This isn't a cop out, I'm serious. Why are those bad things? Let's go through them. Is it powerful? Oh definitely! But so is the sniper rifle that encircles enemies at any distance, so is the invisibility watch and so are many more abilities to come. An ability which only goes in effect after dying, which means it's a reactive not an active one, isn't really that OP. The second argument, it rewards players for dying or promotes being bad at the game. But Hotline Miami already does that. Restarting is instant and has no downsides, there are no lives and you can't lose anything. You are literally encouraged to keep throwing yourself at a brick wall until it breaks, so to speak. And since dying has no downsides but has the upside of you learning how to improve, it already rewards you. It's not a punishment, just a, yeah, you can do that better, let's try again. To add to that, it most certainly does not reward bad gameplay. You can't just kill everyone in the level instantly with no effort. To make use of the ability, you have to have killed someone before. And once you've gotten that far, you probably would have killed them anyway. It doesn't make you invincible. And let's not forget, it only lasts one life. You may have gotten lucky once and let the ability kill 3 people upon respawn, but you would have to get lucky again to make use of that fact. If you mess up and die, you have to start all over again. So it's not a get out of jail free card. And the last argument is that it breaks the flow of levels. And again I ask, why is that a bad thing? It rewards thinking outside the box. Not only do you have to factor in how to plan your next move in this life, but also in your next life. You suddenly get access to a strategy that was previously not available. 
Plus, speedrunners can still factor this ability in and plan around it. Because unlike Hotline Miami 1 and 2, there is zero RNG involved. Everything you are able to do is in your hands, nothing just happens randomly. So it really does not break the level flow as much as it gives access to new flow. Some people also say that it's a forced Jojo reference, to which I say, lol. But the best argument I can give is, it's fun. It's a cool ability, which is why I added it. Yeah, I could have just gone the easy road and essentially just made Hotline Miami, but there's also some TF2 weapons. But that would have been boring. Look at all the masks and characters from Hotline Miami 1 and 2. Is there really anyone that jumps out as being very interesting and unique to play as? In Hotline Miami 2, the biggest changes in playstyle were Beard, the fans and the sun. The others were really just variations of each other, and the fans and the sun too actually. And which was your favorite mask in Hotline Miami 1? The one that spawns more guns? The one that lets you survive two gunshots? Or the one that adds an extra bullet to the magazine? Exciting! I'm exaggerating of course, but there was a reason my favorite mask in both games still is Tony. Because he makes you focus on a different playstyle, which is fists only. I just didn't want every class to play the same way, which is why I completely turned Demo Man on his head. You don't even need to use Bites the Dust if you think it's confusing, it is completely optional. But you get the option to do so. But seriously, what would really help me the most is if you played the class and gave actual feedback afterwards based on your gameplay. I see a lot of people with prejudices against the class, but so far I haven't really received any word on how he really plays. Is he really OP or not? You can download the game and tell me for yourself at any time. But just saying, mm, I don't know, before even giving something new a chance is not helpful in the sliders. I can't balance my game around something like that. So please, actually do give Demo Man and his abilities a chance and give me feedback. You can write it here in the comments or Game Jolt or even better on my Discord server. Okay, actually, you know what? I'm a nice guy, so you can also send an email to hfbugreport at gmail.com. I try to read all of your messages every single time. I hope that I could clear some things up with this video. But for now, I'd like to thank you very much for watching, have a wonderful day and goodbye.